Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to Subsistence Season 2, where it is February. Uh, as I was uh, saying, uh, I don't even know what order these videos come out in on my last uh, Season 1 video. Oh, that's 59. That's not that bad. Um, what was I saying about this... Uh, Oh, now I can't remember, for God's sake. Adventuring. Something about adventuring this week, because I'm too tired to do anything really super duper important. Um, let's just eat that. Check the chickens. I want to upgrade... Oh, hello. I want to uh, upgrade my nine mil but my problem is oh that doesn't go that doesn't go there my problem is, is that I don't have uh, any mass and uh, I've only got three uh, fuel generators which is enough to carry um, carry this thing a little ways but eventually uh, you just run out of stuff. So, um, I'm not sure what I want to do first. Like, we have the stuff to work on the bridge. And, oh yeah, I was going to show you the plane crash that finally happened. It's up there on top of the mountain. See right there? I don't, I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to point to it. There we go. You can actually see the parts of the plane and there's a little guy sitting there and I don't know where the other two guys are. Anyway, I don't want to go up there. Uh, what kind of a crazy person would want to go up there in the middle of winter time? I don't know, but not this one. I mean, I realize and, if, and I, I fully admit that I'm a crazy person. Okay, look at me. Crazy person. All right, uh, during the days that I was chopping all that wood and gathering all the... Oh, I forgot about them. <laughs> no, no, it's in here. Uh, chopping wood and gathering uh, stuff. Yeah, I made some food. Mostly it was just a blizzard, but I made some food. Oh, gosh. You guys could synchronize your egg laying, couldn't you? And... Um, I'm just going to drop those off. I made... I need to move. <laughs> oh, I went and checked on my stew. I'm cooking a stew. An Irish stew, even. Sorry, stew. <laughs> I'm cooking your goose. Oh, yes. I made a gate. Oh, boy. This was a cussory adventure. <laughs> because... Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> uh, are you coming? <laughs> I made a gate. It's actually better than the last gate that I made. It hangs over on one side like there's hinges and then there's a little gap where there would be. But, um... So what else did I do? Oh yes, this cussory adventure. Uh, so I put the um, I put the walls in. I had taken the door frame and put it on top of the uh, the foundation, and uh, then I put the walls in, and uh, then I moved the foundation out of the way, and then I deleted the doorway, which destroyed the door. <laughs> so. I made another doorway. I rebuilt the whole gate. And there's the doorway right there. We'll, we'll use it for the folly. Um, when we get to building that this summer. That's going to be fun, actually. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, building that folly. Uh, we need more than that. Uh, two more. I don't want to use up too much steak because I need to make steak and eggs. But uh, let's just drop this right there. Maybe I'll remember it. I don't know. I'll drop 
all of that there. Okay, we have a lock pick. I made this. That's, that was nice. So I took out the half floor and just put in one solid uh, square floor there. So we have this nice lock. Oh, I can't wait. This fishing pond. We're going to, actually I'm going to do it right now. We're going to fill it in because uh, it is uh, not going to work. So I can barely, um, we'll just set that there for right now. I can barely um, get uh, fish in there at all. And it's all crappy. That is, that is an axe. No, that's the number two. I want the number one. <laughs> oh, that doesn't match. Does it match on the other side? Oh, good. Okay, so that's that's better. We'll put the furniture and stuff in here. I'm thinking like... Um, oh, that's not done. Am I hungry? No. So I'm thinking like a nice double bed, you know, with the two commode things on either side, and then uh, we'll put a couch and uh, chairs in here. That'll be cool. That'll be pretty cool. And I don't know how many floors I need, or if I can even make enough, because uh, I am having major problems, as you can imagine, with cordage. That's, that's a problem. And I went up there several times uh, during those three days. It was three days, by the way. Two days of, of blizzards and, uh, you know, fighting to stay alive. Mr. Pigglestein, did you hear my story? I was telling my story. You're a good boy. And, um... Oh, I don't need that thing. Um... So yeah, I went up there for a couple of days and took all of the fiber that I could find and just made cordage constantly and chopped wood. I did not make a lock pick for that adventure. And I also didn't see the lock crate, which was a blessing. Yeah, we need about 35 more of these four panels. But we'll uh, go out and look for some treasure. I did treasure hunting on season one. I will do treasure hunting on season uh, two as well. But we can also do some uh, building. Uh, yeah, I can only make six more. And then I'm out of uh, cordage again, which is really just like an issue because it's winter time. And uh, I wasn't, like, fully prepared for it to be such a small amount of fiber. And I remember uh, Ross saying that, yeah, it's only 50%. But that was after winter started. And I was sort of realizing that, oh, my God, this is a problem. God, what a beautiful day. Look, we can, we can take a picture with all of our uh, bases. There's two, and there's going to be a third one over there on that end as well. Uh, this is going to take a little while. Let's go look for this. Now I'll get a weapon out. We'll just let them uh, build. Boy, my, my, my hands are actually tired from the effort of picking fiber. Hey, there's two cordage. Fantastic. Um, oh, Damo. There was some more fiber over there, but... We'll just keep picking fiber, and... I gotta be honest with you, it's a hell of a lot more pleasurable to pick the fiber than it is to <laughs> go after the sandstone <laughs> in season one. <laughs> I've been almost avoiding it 
you know, going diving again. And in season one, we also need to go to the caves again. And that's not going to be, you know, a joyful pleasure for me. I, ha I mean, if the hunters weren't so much fun, I would just turn them off on, on the other season. Because it is a building season, you know. And uh, so I... That's why they're on. They're on just to entertain me. And uh, on the episode that I shot this morning, I went to uh, Bravo and Alpha. I left a lot of biofuel in both Bravo and Alpha. I'm sure it's going to drive people absolutely batty, uh, considering how much biofuel I go through. Oh, there it is. Now, a lot of people would say this is out of place. It is not. This is not out of place. It's well within range of that um, of that uh, six log tree, wherever it is. It's around here somewhere. But I've even found this locked crate all the way over here by this rock on a couple of occasions. And... Uh, Oh, God, I thought that was a moose and a deer. It was just the moose's antlers. <laughs> uh, okay, so we found a lock crate. That's great. More rosehip berries, please. Thanks. Oh, boy, I hope we can find enough strawberries in the summertime to make all of this worthwhile with the rosehip berries. Because I like the jam, even though it's not as good as the chutney. So if you're looking for maximizing... Um, I thought there was someone behind me. If you're looking for maximizing... Uh, oops, I forgot. There we go. Um, then that is not going to be... Um, then the berry stuff, uh, berry jam isn't as good. The chutney's better. But, um, and it's also easier to make the chutney. You can make the chutney right away. You don't have to wait for anything other than the stove. You know, uh, that's what I'm looking for. One of those. A couple more of those. Let's go put down these more floors. <laughs> it's like hard to do. I promise you. Oh, there's the other lock crate. Gosh darn it. Uh, I mentioned that Annie on the live stream, Annie saw the lock crate on top of Orma uh, Ormazing. Yeah, it spawns up there. The, um, this zone is really huge. It goes from from here almost all the way to Twin Rivers. So it, it's quite a big zone. It's it's one of the older ones, I think. It's not the oldest. The oldest is down up in the valley fiber fields by the wash. And uh, that, that area. But um, having watched all of uh, Ono Koho season one and season two, uh, which was really short. Um, this lake is the first lake, but the lock crates are super far apart on this side of the map. And then you get to the uh, second to newest lake, which is South Lake. And those lock crates are so jammed in with each other that uh, there are times when you can see two or three of them at a time in the same spot, especially up in the birch. But then the arch all the way over to South Pond is a double lock crate zone. And uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Because there's been a couple of times that Annie and I have seen them together both the lock crates and uh, somewhere she's got the picture somewhere there's a picture of us with two lock crates 
I think she's got the picture. Oh, that's so weird. There shouldn't be anybody. No hunters should be at the lake side in the winter. When the lake's frozen, they don't come down to the lake. But um, every once in a while, you see something out there, and it looks like a hunter standing there. All right, how many more is that? Five more. Uh. All right, let's put some more floor in. You always wonder though when you find the, when you find that second lock crate, you're like, damn, I, I wonder if that one was better. <laughs> <laughs> oh god there's 50 iron in there I guess we'll take that home uh, <laughs> I switched it over to iron and I forgot how much faster iron is alright let's put those in there Got nine let's do these nine and we'll see if uh, how many more we need So it'll be like three bases together as one. And we might even do uh, BCU extenders to make it all one base. <laughs> that might be neat. <laughs> Oops, I turned a little bit there. See how close we're getting. I didn't want to make a ton more. Uh, we can make five more. Yeah. There we go. And let's see here. We'll make a seed out of that. All right. Only one cloth. Um, no, I don't have the other stuff. Yeah, I had this vision in my head before I started today that I might actually have enough stuff done to be able to um, make the foundation of that base. And I want to put a foundation underneath that as well. I think it'll look better, at least in the winter time it will. I'm not worried about um, uh, stability, you know, structural integrity. I'm not worried about that because I don't intend to have that turned on and uh, too much will fall. I have, it would take me months and months to make enough foundations under everything to, uh, oops, I keep doing that, uh, under everything to make it um, stable, you know. Is that another walk? <laughs> No, it can't be. It's got to be a construction crate. Yeah. Nope, it's a medicinal. Nice. An apple. Oh, I'm going to eat it right now. So nice. Why are you guys all gathered up? Usually that means there's some rogues. I don't see any. I honestly don't look. I, I try to. I do. If I'm intending to do something about it, I look for them. But not, not if I'm not, you know, I'm not concerned about it. Is that more iron? Ah! Evil! Evil! <laughs> there. Let's put these in. <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs> it makes me so mad. <laughs> it doesn't really make me mad. The bridges of KJ County. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness, we could almost jump that, except that it's really deep right there. All right, let's uh, gather up more fiber, I guess. And uh, I'm also out of wood now. I have um, reserved a bit of wood on the base for burning fires. In the summertime, we don't really need to worry about it. Uh, you don't really need to burn a fire unless you need ash or you need to make food. And uh, we have a stove, so. Not too worried about that. It's a good thing that stove doesn't give off heat. Uh, it would be nice if we could use the stove as a heater. But you know, it's only on as long as you're cooking something. But um, it would be nice because then you wouldn't have to burn a fire all the time. The stove takes power in mass. It doesn't take fire. But I haven't made the uh, heater yet. That's something we can look at, making a heater. Although winter's almost over. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. There's a carrot. There's some. Oh, why did you turn toward the fence? Oh, shush. Oh, shush, shush. I'm looking for fibers. Unless you want to give me your sinews. <laughs> so, in order to... Um, do the pistol, we're going to have to sacrifice a bunch of fiber because uh, I only have two rope and I think I need six or eight. Oh, you've got to go. Uh, axe? Axe? <laughs> We got a lot done. It looks like the bridge goes all the way across from here. Oh, man. 120. That's three more fat. It's, uh, we don't have very much fat, uh, I mean, you don't get very much fat from these little dogs, but um, during the course of a day of just chopping wood, I tend to come home with about 20 fat, which is really great because usually uh, in the past, in the winter time, I haven't been incredibly good about <coughs> getting a lot of biofuel. Can you see the bridges from here? Oh, look at that. That's cool. That's a cool shot. There you go. Put that away. <laughs> it's going to be three bases joined together, possibly by, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, BCU extenders. Ambitious? Sure. It's ambitious. It's not as ambitious as covering all of Center Pond with a glass roof. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even want to think about it. How many was that? Only one? All right. I want that slot. Mr. Pigglestein. Oh, my voice is cutting out. <laughs> 14 scrap today so far. I wish you could make a pet out of Mr. Pigglestein. We're going to go walk past Mr. Pigglestein because it's safer than running past that wolf. Mr. Pigglestein, thanks for being here. Ha, 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 ha.
I need another one. I could take him home with me. He seems to be going that way. <laughs> there we go. I can never figure out by the shadow where the eagle is because the shadow is so see there's the the shadow the eagle should be over there somewhere I don't see him oh well god I'm glad I fixed that thank you again Ross because gosh look at that right through there all right let's see if we have managed oh the fire went out no let's keep the steak We'll do the liver. Put that in there. Uh, oh, good. I've got a match. Nice. And there's 40 more. So we have 426. I usually take it down to 200. There we go. <laughs> I can't. Oh, I'm not terrible about this. That goes in there. We're almost have another full stack of uh, weapon parts, too. Here's some seeds. There's some more fuel. We have plenty of fuel to run those generators. 54 iron we've brought home. That's, that's pretty cool. I am going to run that. So we need... Um, how much again? Uh, 140. So we need 40 mass, which is not bad. Uh, we might not be able to do this until tomorrow, though. Yeah, I need to make some steak and eggs. See, I need the power and mass for other stuff. There's some mass. Let's just go ahead and run this thing. And uh, I'll run a couple of these. Uh, oh. I can run around better if I've got the stuff on me. <laughs> yeah, I need to pick that eventually. <laughs> I watered and, and fertilized that this morning before the beginning of the episode and it's used all of it. There you go. Found an, it's just all cotton. And uh, next we will grow uh, medicinal, I guess. Oh, it's just gonna snow. Isn't that something? Most of that cotton's ripe. Uh, there we go. Alright, I need to eat real food. And I bet you guys do too. Oh, you're actually okay. Alright, three more eggs. I'll wait to make steak and eggs. We have one or... No, I don't have it, anything. Ugh. I'll wait to make steak and eggs. Until um, until after we upgrade the nine mil. There's some chicken soup and a steak. What a great meal that makes! And uh, this is gonna go fast. We're already at 120, and then uh, there we go. That should do it. Yep. Okay, that's good. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, what are we up to here? Four, five, six. Now, if any weapon we want to get... Oh, that's right, the pearl situation. Nine. Twelve. We don't have the pearls to do this. Damn it. Damn it. 
think we'll go pearl diving tomorrow. Give me back my nine mil. I'm very upset about this now. Gosh darn it. <laughs> that goes down there. All right, let's let's set up for pearl diving. Oh my gosh. Wonder if I have any. Uh, Oh yeah, that's good because the cordage <laughs> situation is really bad. <laughs> nope, that goes over there. <laughs> oh, boy, the the lengths that I go to for my uh, for my weapons. I, I most assuredly uh, want to upgrade that 9 mil uh, as soon as possible. I keep walking. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Different save. Different save. But let's go over there. Uh, we do have 15 fire rounds. If the pilots would land in the valley, uh, that would be super helpful. So, since we're going pearl diving tomorrow, let's make steak and eggs. Because I'm, I need the chicken food. And uh, because they give me fat and uh, chicken. <laughs> Ugh! I hate these things. They're always in my way. <laughs> we're just almost ready uh, to upgrade a weapon, but yeah, we're going pearl diving next time. Oh, it's so cold. I have two heat packs. Oops. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, heat packs. I can make three more. I don't have very many uh, cans anyway, so that's what we'll do. Alrighty. There we go. I, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go pearl diving. And so that we can upgrade the 9 mil because I can't wait any longer. <laughs> all right, you guys. I hope you all have a lovely evening. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>